This video will cover the topic, using the Pythagorean theorem to find a trigonometric ratio. Let's begin by stating the Pythagorean theorem. c squared equals a squared plus b squared, where c equals the length of the hypotenuse, a equals the length of the adjacent side, and b equals the length of the opposite side. We can also replace C with H to represent the hypotenuse, and replace B with O to represent the opposite side. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand the Pythagorean theorem, but what exactly do adjacent and opposite sides mean in context of an example problem? Good question. Let's do an example. Find the sine of theta, where theta is the angle shown. Give an exact value not a decimal approximation. We can start by identifying the hypotenuse and the adjacent side, since these two values are given in the diagram. The hypotenuse equals 17, and the adjacent side equals 8. I understand that the hypotenuse is the slanted line that is across from the right angle, but how do we know that 8 is the adjacent side and not the opposite side? Good question. The adjacent side is the side that forms the angle along with the hypotenuse, whereas the opposite side is the side across from the angle theta. Now, we can substitute the values for the hypotenuse and the adjacent side into the Pythagorean theorem. 17 squared equals 8 squared plus O squared. Simplifying this equation yields O equals the square root of 17 squared minus 8 squared, which results in O equals 15. Okay, I understand how we solve for the length of the opposite side, but how does this help us find the sine of the angle? Good question. Following the mnemonic SOHCAHTOA, we can identify that the sine of theta is equal to the length of the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Substituting these values in yields sine of theta equals 15 over 17. I think I'm starting to understand this topic, but can we do another example just to be sure? Definitely. Let's look at the example problem. Find cosine of theta, where theta is the angle shown. Give an exact value and not a decimal approximation. In this example, we are given the values for the hypotenuse and the opposite side, so we need to solve for the adjacent side, right? Exactly. Let's substitute the given values into the Pythagorean theorem, yielding adjacent side equals square root of 13 squared minus 12 squared, which equals 5. Since the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, the cosine of theta equals 5 thirteenths. Okay, I think I understand this topic now, but let me quickly summarize just to be sure. We begin by identifying the values given and substituting these values into the Pythagorean theorem. Next, we solve for the missing value and use the mnemonic SOHCAHTOA to identify which two sides we'll use to solve for the value of the trigonometric ratio in question. That's right. 